Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today we're taking a look at the new Hourglass lipsticks. And let's start off with the packaging of these. So I have to say I'm not a fan of the packaging. We do have, you know, this gold tube. It's a fingerprint magnet. I don't mind that. I don't mind the fact that it's gold. You know, I actually think that looks very nice. What I don't love is how it fits into the actual case. So you've got these two components. This is magnetic and that slides in totally fine. You can see it's kind of at an angle. At first it kind of looked like it might be one of those um, push top like the Chanel Rouge Allure lipsticks. It is not. But what I don't like is the fact that you can only put it in in one direction. So I personally, when I'm using lipstick, I often don't look when I'm putting it, sliding it back into the tube or the cap. And this I kind of have to. So it's just a little bit of a pain in my opinion. I wish that it was not so one-sided or if it is going to be like that, then it's just a little bit more noticeable. And um, yeah, so other than that, the packaging is fine. The slides in and out well. I like how they have the actual color name and number here on the side as well as on the bottom of the cap. So I think that's a nice feature here. And we do have the Hourglass Unlocked logo here. So I picked up two shades of the lipstick. We're gonna talk about the details of the lipstick in just a minute, but let's start off with just a couple of swatches here. So this is the shade Tide, and let's that's one swipe, and then we'll just build that up a bit. You can see these are apt with the satin cream description. And this is gonna be shade number 302 Tide. And it's described as kind of a cooler nude. I would say, you know, there are some rosy tones to it, but it's still much more of a peachy nude than a true rosy nude. So I would say it's not really as cool as I was hoping it would be. It's pretty neutral, but I would say it actually leans a little bit warmer than I expect it from a cool neutral description, although it isn't truly warm. And then the other shade I picked up is 314 Lotus. And this is kind of your medium pink. You can see this is gonna be a warmer tone pink. It's more of a salmon pink. And yeah, you know, think of like coho salmon and that's what this looks like. So let's talk a little bit about the details of this product while we look at the lip swatches. So we do have four grams of product here. So that's a pretty decent size for the lipstick. They retail for 38 US dollars. They're made in Korea and they have a one year shelf life. Now these are vegan and cruelty free and like other unlocked products in the Hourglass lineup, their, their whole unlocked collection supports non-human rights projects mission and that's to unlock the cages of wild animals that are in captivity. So they donate 5% of the profits from all of their unlocked products to this particular organization. So anytime you see that unlocked logo there, then that's what you're getting. Now, these lipsticks themselves, they are a satin cream formula. According to Hourglass, you get high impact color with a single swipe. It's ultra hydrating and you get a luxe satin cream finish. You've got vegan waxes in here for a smooth texture, and you've got mango seed butter, avocado oil, argan oil, and so forth to help condition your lips and maintain their softness and give you kind of a weightless texture on the lips. And it is vegan and cruelty free. So overall, I would have to say that this lipstick is very comfortable on the lips. It's you know, it feels nice. It's got a nice texture. I would say it actually feels maybe slightly thicker than the Merit Signature lipsticks, but I would say that it has a very similar texture on the lips to that, or also to the Bobbi Brown lipsticks. They're Luxe lipsticks that were just recently reformulated. Another comparison with the Bobbi Brown, I do feel like the color lineups between the two are fairly similar in their undertones. It's almost like they have the same type of base color. So Hourglass, we do have 20 permanent shades in this new range. There are 21 shades out currently because the shade Red Zero is available for Lunar New Year in special red limited edition packaging. So right now there are 21 shades to choose from, but typically there will be 20 on the market. 
Now I have a little bit of a wear test to show you here after six hours. And I did check the mirror, you know, throughout that time period and it stayed on pretty well, but it did fade uh, pretty considerably after a meal. So, you know, it was like probably about halfway gone, uh, you know, the first time I ate. And then after like the second time it, that's when I showed you the wear test. <laughs> so take a look and let me know what you think. Okay, it has been six hours this is how the lipstick has worn. I have eaten a couple times since then. And you can see that it has mostly worn off. So like a little bit of a tint, but essentially it's gone. So let me bring you in. All right, so we're gonna start off with some comparisons with Burberry. So this is the Burberry Kisses in 14 Delicate Rose. And let's put that right here. You can see that this one here is gonna be a bit rosier than the Hourglass shade in Tide. And it's actually also a little bit peachier, so it's slightly warmer in tone. And the formula for the Burberry Kisses, this is gonna be kind of like a, a lighter satin cream. So it's a satin version, it's a little bit thinner, it's not quite, you know, you don't have as much opacity. And then we have 16 Deep English Rose. Let's put that right there next to that. And you can see that this one is gonna be more of a true rose shade, less brown in it. Next we have 41, this is Pomegranate Pink. Let's put this one down here. You can see that this is gonna be a bit brighter. It's also gonna be cooler in tone than that of Lotus. And 44, Rebellious Rose. And this one is gonna be much closer to the Lotus shade. You can see this has just a, a slight little bit more of like a brighter tone in there, almost like a little bit more of a neon vibe to it, but they're really close. This is actually my closest comparison to the shade Lotus from Hourglass. And again, this is the Burberry Kisses in 44 Rebellious Rose. Next, we have one of the Merit Signature lipsticks. This is the shade Baby. And we're gonna put this one right here on the top. You can see that this formula here is actually a bit more sheer with first swipe and you can build it up. You can see this is kind of more of a cooler rosy nude, more like what I was expecting Tide to be. You can see Tide has a little bit more of a warmer brown tone to it. And then this is one of the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks in 109 Floral Nude. We're gonna put that one right here. This is actually gonna be one of those sheer lip balm lipstick hybrids. You can see that this shade, it's a little bit pinker, but you do still have kind of that similar brown nude tone to it. But um, yeah, so this is kind of close. It's just gonna be more sheer, more glossy on the lips. All right, and then we have a couple Bobbi Brown Luxe lipsticks. This one here is 312 Pink Buff. Let's put that one right here in between the two. You can see this is very opaque with first swipe and it's a little bit less shiny on the lips compared to the Hourglass. This is gonna be deeper than Tide, and but tonally, it's gonna to be kind of similar. It's got more pink in there. It's kind of like a deep version of Tide mixed with a little bit of the Lotus shade here. So you can kind of see that it's a nice mix, just a bit deeper. And then last up, this is Pink Nude, number 308. And let's put this one right here. You can kind of see we're gonna spread this one all the way down so you can see that with Tide and Lotus. And you can see this is gonna be much more orange tone than either of them. Um, yeah, so those are the best comparisons I have for these Hourglass lipsticks. Now, my thoughts on these, I think they're okay. Um, you know, I think they're a nice formula. I like the formula. I like the way they feel on my lips. I think wear time is fine. You know, it's about four hours, I would say, and that's totally fine. It's got a nice finish. I do think though that it does emphasize the lines of my lips a little bit, and that's, you know, not ideal. Um, I personally, like, I've been wearing these for a few days, and I just, I prefer actually putting it on, blotting it, and then topping it with a lip gloss. And I think that kind of helps alleviate any looks that I can get with the lines. 
I think the color range runs a little bit warm. And as I mentioned before, I'm not really a fan of the packaging. You know, it looks nice aesthetically, but I think functionally it is lacking. Kind of reminds me of the issue they've had with their eyeshadow packaging. I actually really love their eyeshadow formula, but you know, there were a whole lot of issues with that particular launch as well. So those are my thoughts on it. I think it's an okay product. You know, the actual formula itself is nice, but all in all, it's just okay. So I'd love to know if you've tried these, what your thoughts are, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.